Hey guys, and happy Thanksgiving. Um, I'm doing my November favorites today, and it is Thanksgiving, but I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this, so if I don't upload this today, then I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. So yeah, um, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day, my Thanksgiving outfit. So my hair is just like straightened, and then I just have like this little bow. It's like a little clip. And then my makeup is just like neutral, I did like kind of rose gold eyes and then purple lipstick. And then my outfit, my shirt is not my shirt, my sweater is from Forever 21. I have this, um, this infinity necklace, I don't remember where I got this. And then I have my ear cuff from Forever 21. My ring is from, who is this from? I can't think of it. I don't know. I can't think of it, but I got it for Christmas last year. And then I'm just wearing, I, I don't know if you can tell, let me back up. Let me move my stool here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing black leggings. And then my um, boots are from Charlotte Russe. And I'm wearing like cranberry colored leg warmers. So yeah, that is my outfit. I'll do like an overview of it at the end if you couldn't see it really well. Because I don't have a tripod, so... I can't really show you perfectly, but yeah, I honestly hardly have any favorites this month. It's all like beauty related, no hair, no body, nothing like that. I didn't do it in October favorites, but that was because I literally had no, like it was either recurring favorites or I had none. So yeah, um, like I said, I hardly have any this month, but I will do it anyway. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just jump on into everything. Okay, starting off with the two skincare things. The first thing I have is the Glacial Clay Spa. There was another name before that, but I got, my mom actually got this. I don't remember where she got this in. I think it was in her Beauty Box 5 and she gave it to me because I love masks. And oh my goodness, this is the best mask ever. I think you can get these from Ulta. Um, this was, what kind was this? Arctic Cloudberry and Red Grape. This, it smelled really good, but it literally was like clay, and on your face, it just had this cooling sensation, and it dried, and it just felt so good, and when I took it off, my skin was so smooth, and just, oh my goodness, it was literally, this is one of the best masks I've ever tried, and I'm definitely going to pick up more of these, because these are amazing. I absolutely loved this mask. The next thing I have is the e.l.f. Zit Zapper, and it's just like a like a spot treatment in a rollerball type thing. I love this. When I get zits, I just put this on and in the morning they'll either be reduced. If they were painful, the pain will be out. If they were red, the redness will be taken away. This is really, really good. I think it's about a dollar. I might be wrong, but I think it's about a dollar. It works so well and I've tried, I tried the one from Lush and honestly, this one's way better than the one from Lush. I have tried so many spot treatments and this one is so good. I would definitely recommend this to people who are struggling with acne and need to find a good spot treatment because this one is amazing. So moving on to eye products, I only have two. The first one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked and Pink. And it's just like a pomegranate kind of pink color. Really, really pretty. I think it's perfect for the holidays. I actually used it as my base today for my eyeshadow. This is just, I think... I like this one. I like my Barely Branded better, but I think that this one lasts longer. Like, it has more wearing time. Way better than Barely Branded. I don't know what it is. Like, I can use this as a primer on its own, and Barely Branded, I have to use a primer under it. I don't know what it is, but my eyeshadow does not crease whatsoever when I use this color tattoo, and it's just a really beautiful color. Like, I don't know. I just really have been loving it this month, and I've been using it like crazy. The next thing I have, which should be no surprise, is the Be A Bombshell eyeshadow and birthday suit. I showed this in my September favorites, and I love this. Like, I either use it to blend out any harsh lines, I use it to highlight my brow bone, I use it when I want to, like, wear a matte eyeshadow look. I've made a nice little dent in it. It's really, really nice, a really nice creamy color. I love it, and I don't know, it's just a really great eyeshadow all around. So moving on into face, I have the Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. Um, I got this with a purchase from Ulta. It was like one of the little free um, samples. And oh my goodness, I love this so much. Like it is so much better than my um, Professional. And I love Professional. Like this is my favorite primer. But this just makes my skin feel 
looks so smooth like it's 20 times smoother than when I used the professional and it just feels so good like I can't explain it and like if I because sometimes after I put on the primer I like to go back like with a um, kabuki brush and just kind of blend it in a little bit more and honestly I can barely feel my brush because it almost just glides like it glides down my face because my face is so smooth and I don't know it's just a really really good um primer it's really thick and I don't know it just works really really well and I really really enjoy it the next thing I have is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream, and again, I got this as a free sample with a purchase from Ulta. This is in the shade of Light Medium. I've never, ever tried anything from Smashbox, and I was so excited to get this because I've seen so many people rave about this, and honestly, it is the best BB Cream I've ever used. I've used BB Creams from Pacifica, Maybelline, um, Prestige, a couple different brands, but this is by far the top this beats all of those drugstore brands it is amazing it almost has the coverage of a foundation like it's like a medium coverage but you can definitely build it up like I'm wearing it today and it's just amazing like this is amazing I can't I can't it's just so good and I probably will buy the full size of this when I run out because it's so so good I love it the next thing I have is the time bomb concealer and I did show this in the second part of my haul I'm in the shade medium um like I said, it's not amazing for under the eyes. Like, it gives pretty good coverage, but I'm very anal about that and just, like, my under eye circles, and I I can still see them. Like, it doesn't give full coverage. Like, it doesn't give as much coverage as I would like it to for under the eyes, but for the face, oh my gosh, like, I've already made a dent in this. It It's just really, really nice. Like, I've had blemishes all over my face. I've been breaking out like crazy lately, and this just covers up everything on my face. I would definitely say this is an amazing, amazing, like, face concealer, like, just all around for your face. I wouldn't say it's the best for under the eyes, but definitely, definitely for your face, it is amazing. The next thing I have is one that I also showed in my September favorites. This is the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer Duo. I have been using this bronzer like no other. I don't know what it is about this bronzer. It's just, I'm wearing it today. It's just a really nice dark deep bronzer. It's not too orange. It's not too red. Or not red. Pink. Yeah. Um, it's just perfect. And you can either use it to contour with or warm up your face. I think this would be perfect for all skin tones because it's just so nice. And it's, I think I got this for $3. So you can't go wrong. And I have, I have so many bronzers. I have NYX, Rimmel, Essence, Pixie, Wet n Wild, Tarte, and Elf takes the cake. So my last face favorite would have to be my Tarte palette. I love this palette. I think it's wonderful. I think that you should definitely pick it up if you are considering it. I did a whole review, so I will definitely link that below if you guys are curious. But I have been using these two um, blushes. This one is in the shade Dazzled. And it's a really, really nice, like, mauve rosy kind of color. It's the only blush with shimmer in the whole palette. And then I've been using this one called Darling. It is a really nice kind of um, peachy nude shade. I really like both of these blushes. Sometimes I mix them, like I put them together, and sometimes I wear them on their own. These are perfect fall blushes, and I don't know, I just really love these. I'm wearing um, Dazzled today. I, I didn't really, like, pack it on. I just wore it, like, really nice and subtle. But it's just really nice. It's perfect for fall, they're really natural and gorgeous, they last forever, and I would recommend them. So my last category is lips, and I have a couple. Um, the first thing I have is the Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm. I love Burt's Bees. I've, I don't know how many Burt's Bees lip balms I've been through, but I've had the pomegranate one before, and um, I decided to repurchase it um, recently, and uh, it just smells so good. Like, it doesn't smell like pomegranates. I can't explain it. It's kind of spicy, but it just... Mm, it smells so good, and I love to put this on before I put on my lipstick because it's really, really moisturizing, and it lasts a long time, and I really love it. The next thing I have is my CoverGirl Smoochies and Hashtag Text Me. It's just a really nice kind of natural, kind of rosy pink kind of shade, rosy red, I don't know. Um, really, really nice for the fall. It's really pigmented for like a balm, but I really like it. I put it on on those days where I really don't know what to wear. Um but I still want to look nice, if that makes sense. I really, really like this, and yeah, I've been wearing it a lot this month. 
The next thing I have is my Lime Crime lipstick. I showed this as well in my haul. Goodness gracious, I love this stuff. This is an amazing, amazing lipstick. It's a deep, deep purple. Um, you can really build it up to be totally purple, or you can like do like one swipe where it's more like on the raspberry side. Um, this lasts so long on my lips. The first time I ever wore it, it lasts about three hours, but it seems like the more I put on, the longer it lasts, and um, the longest this has lasted for me was six hours. Six hours, and I didn't have to reapply. It wasn't patchy. It. This is an amazing lipstick. It doesn't dry out my lips. It is so good. I, I just can't. I can't. I love Lime Crime lipsticks. I can't wait to buy another one. Um, this is one of my favorite lipsticks by far. And then I like to pair it with the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Daredevil. It's just like a purpley toned pink color and I think that these just make the perfect pair. Like... It just looks like that. You can wear it on its own. It's definitely pigmented enough. But I really like pairing it with um, the Lime Crime Lipstick because it is really pretty and it gives it shine and it plumps your lips. And yeah. So yeah, guys, that was my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Love you guys. Bye.